Two years ago I made a video called The Baited Response. In it I talked about trolls online and how misunderstood they are. You can't win by responding to them. And if you don't respond, they get away with bullying, no repercussions. So the only real way that you can win is to manipulate people into posting nicer comments. Which itself sounds horrible. Manipulate isn't a nice word. And the humanity of it all is lost when I stop treating my audience as individuals and instead as a crowd that needs to be shaped and channeled. But unfortunately, once an audience reaches a certain size, that's how a crowd behaves. But hey, I'm fighting trolls here. Nobody likes those. Surely everybody would rather exist in a more positive environment. But it's difficult to do. It means dedicating my time and attention to positive comments. When I see something horrible, I can think of a hundred replies I could type. But a positive one? What do I say to that? Thank you's a bit boring. Do I start a conversation? Well, yeah, I could, but I'd be preaching to the choir. In 2016, YouTube gave comment creators the heart and pin features to help encourage good behaviour. Can you believe it's been over three years already? Pinning comments is straightforward enough. It brings that post to the top of the comments section, making it a great way to influence other comments by pinning something positive, or to start a debate by pinning something thought-provoking or controversial, or even to name and shame individuals who post something stupid. It feels good to do that. But no, I shouldn't do that, because that's rewarding the wrong behaviour. So I tried to pin comments that I would like to see more of, or that responded to my video in a way that I had hoped for. Again, you're not going to like it, but the top comments heavily influence the rest of them. Think of how you use Reddit. You read the headline, and then jump to the comment section to see what people think about it. Those top rated comments will shape your judgement of whatever the story's about. It makes sense that the same will apply to YouTube videos. A few years ago now, I went through my 50 most viewed videos and deleted anything negative or nasty that I could find and pinned the most positive. My plan was to return to it later and to see if it had had a noticeable impact on the quality of the comments my videos received, but I never did that. Plus it's difficult to quantify the difference it made. But doing that started me on a positive reinforcement frenzy that I've continued to this day. I spend as much time looking through comments now as I ever have. I answer questions, engage in discussions, delete negative stuff, but more importantly, I try to show my appreciation to those who post positive things. Which is why I love YouTube's heart feature. If I see a comment that's interesting or simply nice and polite, I'll heart it. It doesn't take much time for me to do. I worry that it might even be seen as nothing more than a tick to show that I've read your comment. I worry that if I overuse it, it will lose its importance. And I also worry that it never had any to begin with. But it's important to me. I reserve it for comments that mean something to me. Let me tell you. If you get a heart from me, you know you've made my day a little bit better, that I've appreciated your comment and that I want to thank you for it, just without the cliched thank you response. I know the like and dislike system on YouTube is a bit pointless, but I do my bit to like the good ones and to dislike the negative ones to encourage the algorithm to favour the positive, even if those comments that I've liked will never know it. But for particularly nice comments that have clearly had some thought invested into them, I'll give them a heart. And for those really, really special comments, I'll heart it and will also reply if I feel my heart needs more of an explanation. But a heart on its own is still good. But here comes the cold corporate reasoning again. I noticed the YouTube comments algorithm favours those that I've hearted. If I get in there an hour after a video is released and heart the best ones, they'll typically rise to the top and will remain there as the comments that will influence future ones. It's a powerful tool. But I just want you to know, it's also my preferred way of responding to nice comments. You troll me, you get deleted. Say something stupid, and I'll treat you like you're stupid. But you say something that I appreciate, I'll give you a heart, and maybe even a comment to go along with it. Aim for the heart.